everybody, it's Cindy here from Hooked on Crafts. I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, if you have been following along with me on my journey, um, you know that I've been working on market prep. So I got all caught up the last time. And then this is really about two weeks worth of crochet that I've, is what I've got done so far in the last couple of weeks. So the first thing I would like to share with you is this little turtle. Now, the fun thing about this girl is look at her eyes. I got some new eyes from AliExpress. They're called glass uh, eyes um, and they really sparkle. I love them. Uh, they are a little bit pricier, so um, probably be using them really for special, special plushies. Uh, next thing I have for this week are some whales. I've been trying to stock up on my $10 items. Uh, now the turtle will probably be about a $20 or $25 item, but I feel like for my show, I need more small items. Um, so $10, $15 range. So I've been working on some of those. So here's some whales. I had not done any whales in the Burnett. Uh, yarn so i've been working on a couple of those sorry i'm throwing them into a bag here as i'm talking about them and then i also did a little purple girl and i gave her some cute eyelashes i love those so i think i really enjoy the whales um listening to other crafters i feel like they don't sell as well as some of them but i really like them so if i like them i'm gonna make them um, I did find a cute octopus pattern that I liked. Um, I found this on interest. It was a free pat, uh, Instagram rather. It was a free pattern and it's got the curly little legs. So these guys are going to be $10. I got a purple girl and a pink one. Um, and a mint green one. And then, oh, one more. One more hiding. And then also this kind of, it's also kind of a lavender color. I bought um, some of the cake Burnett blanket. I think they call them ombres. And so I could get a lot of different shades and not have to buy a lot of the different, you know, so many big balls of yarn, but I could get a lot of different shades. Of course, my little elephant, um, he's going to be $10. I got three more of those guys ready to go. I haven't seen a lot of people do elephants, so I don't know. I hope, I, I love him. I think he's adorable. So we'll see how he does. Okay, now I got chickens in my background. And how come no one told me about this? Because I stinking figured out. I saw one girl um, on YouTube talking about a chicken pattern for keychains. And then when she went to link the pattern, it was gone. And so I couldn't find it. But I decided to try and do a little chicken keychain, folks. Oh my gosh, they are adorable. And of course, with the chickens, you can't just make one. Here, let me get them all kind of spread out for you here. You can't just make one. I've got black ones. I've got white ones. I had some of this brown yarn um, from the Dollar Tree, uh, and I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with it, but I think they make great little chicken keychains. Okay, guys, those are stinking cute. Okay, so you can get a close-up look at them. I did put safety eyes in these. This is the Mabel chicken that everybody's making. I made it with, I want to say a 3.75 size crochet hook. And the Dollar Tree just Chanel yarn. And I think they turned out, I love them. 
I absolutely love them. So there's those. Lots and lots of chicken. Okay, next I moved on to leggy frogs. So I didn't have very many leggy frogs made. You can see right back here, I only had a few of the big ones. I've got maybe six or seven of the small ones, but I wanted to do a few more big ones. So we have purple. I have like a mint green. And this again was one that came out of um, one of those ombre ones. I bought a green one and I brought a blue shaded one. And then I also did, and I don't know if I like him or not, but I also did this tan color guy. Sorry, I've got fuzz all over them. They need to be lint rolled really good before we take them to our show. But uh, yeah. And then I saw this other lady on uh, YouTube and she was making a doll for a little child that was sick and the child liked purple. And um, she decided to make a leggy frog to go with it. And the purple leggy frog had a purple tutu. Oh my gosh. So I decided to do some leggy frogs with tutus. I love them. Now I have mostly, I, I just bought the red and I bought some white and I bought some green, but I thought since I was doing a holiday show that I would put some red tutus on them and make them look really Christmassy. I don't know. What do you guys think? Now, these are just made with a uh, three inch Thule and they're just kind of, um, and this is a hair tie, a ponytail holder. And then you just kind of loop it over. Um, if somebody wants me to show them how to do that, I'll be happy to show you how to do that. But most people I think know how to do that, but I think they turned out so cute. Let's, See if I can get him to sit up here with the chickens, maybe. Oh my goodness. And then I have one that was a light, lighter color. I think they're I think they're cute. I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird. <laughs> I just I don't know. I just like uh playing around with those. Um, I also made another stingray. So and I gave this one a little smile. Most of mine I haven't put a smile on, but I was like, I know in the pattern she calls for it to have a smile, but I'm like, nobody's gonna see it, but I kind of like it if you're playing around with it, you know? Oh, I have another little octopus. And this is like a denim brunette blanket. Oh, and another leggy frog. So I'll probably make a couple white tutus and display them with a few of my leggy frogs and a maybe a green one and display those and i mean they just slip right off so if somebody doesn't like it you know if somebody just wants the green one and it's a little boy you can just slip it right off and this is kind of you guys can kind of see it's just on a hair tie and you just kind of loop it over through there and uh yeah but i think it's stinking cute i don't know if you guys are enjoying my content and enjoying watching me go through my market prep, please give my video a like and share and subscribe and do all of that fun stuff because it really helps my channel. And it's been a while since I've uh, really done a lot. So I'm trying to get back in it. I'm trying to be more consistent. Okay. And then I made another alligator. I like these alligators because I have these yellow eyes. I bought a pack of, these are 12 millimeter eyes, and I bought a pack of colored ones, and I never knew what, I'm thinking, what am I ever going to use those yellow eyes for? Nothing has yellow eyes, but I think they're perfect for the alligators. And this is, again, an Instagram pattern for you on Instagram. He's pretty big. I mean, I would say he's probably a good 10 inches long. Um... I think he's cute. I think the little boys are going to like him. And I did another pickle. You can tell I bought green yarn because I have a lot of uh, of green items this time. You guys do that. Like I've, I have, I'm, instead of going out and buying more yarn because I have something I want to make, I'm like, okay, I have this color yarn. What can I make with this? Because I don't want to have to go out and buy when I already have enough 
yarn. What can I make that'll be really cute? So yeah, I had green and I had this denim blue and I made another T-Rex. This is one of my favorite patterns. I also think the kids are going to love these. Now I do have a smaller one that I made out of the Dollar Tree Chanel. I think I'm going to try to make at least one or two more of these guys. And I think I want to try to make a couple more turtles because I think the turtles are very nice. Even though I don't enjoy making those that much, I do, I do like the way they turn out. And I, I don't know, I'm, I'm having a hard time deciding what I want to make. We're getting really close to the time for my craft show. We're about 34, for 35 days out. I'm getting kind of nervous. Um, I haven't done this for a long time, so I don't know. We're going to see how it goes. Now, the last thing I did is another little snuggler, and I made this one a little purple one, and I think she turned out really, really cute. I like these guys for the little kids um, because they're just so stinking cute. I wish I had a few more snuggler patterns, but I only have one. I only bought one, so I've just been using what I have. Uh, there is a book coming out. Unfortunately, it's not coming out till after my craft show, so I can't get it. Um, it's another pretty popular um, pattern writer, and she does a lot of really cute snugglers. She also has a cute dinosaur, um, but this one was cheaper, and I thought it was just as cute, so I don't know. All right, guys, that's really all that I've got done in the last couple weeks. So I've been concentrating on a lot of my $10 items. I'm going to continue to do that. Um, I also need to, I wanted to make some little Grinches. Hopefully the next time we talk, I'll have a few of those made. Um, I hope to get that. They turn out really cute. I have one that I made years ago and I put it on my Christmas tree. It's really an ornament. So I want to say he's about this big. I make him out of acrylic yarn. Um, but who knows? I don't, I don't know uh, if I'm going to, I at least want to have a few of those done. I would like to have five or six of them. We'll see how it goes. Like I said, we're getting close in time and I, I'm not sure quite what I'm going to have time for, but we'll see we'll see. So my next video, I'm going to try to do a mock setup because I've got a lot of product. I think I have everything, but um, I want a small Christmas tree because I am making some Santa ornaments out of yarn and I want to be able to hang those on the tree. So if I get that, I'll include that, but I'm trying to get my displays together. I've got this one. I've got one more to put together like this one. Um, I've got a couple of my little uh, two-tiered trays. And I have uh, the wooden little uh, three-step things. So I want to try to get everything out and get it laid out and see how it's going to look. So look for that to come. That's all I got today, guys. Everybody have a great day. Keep on crocheting. Bye.